welcome Louis C.K. I'm doing good. I'm uh, I was just uh, happened to chat with you briefly backstage, and yeah. the, the new show I got to see a couple of episodes, and it is it's so funny. The season thank is you. and great, not just funny, but also oh, just thank excellent. You. Thank you, Louis. C. Oh, Kent. you're welcome. <laughs> you're welcome. I have to say, one thing though, it surprises me because I would not have guessed this about you. Yeah, I'm kind of fat when you've known you for a while. No, no. <laughs> Is you, in a way, you've revolutionized how things are viewed and mm -hmm. sold on the internet. Right. Well, you started with your stand up special. Yeah. Which you offered exclusively on, on the internet. On my website, on lewisck.com. And it was a stand up special that I shot and, uh, and put out on the site for $5 mm -hmm. and made it easy to steal and just ask people not to. And, uh, <laughs> and we made a million bucks in like 10 days. It so. worked. Yeah, it really worked. It's, it's weird. It is remarkable. It was weird. I don't think that would work for everyone. No, maybe not. I think if I asked people not to steal, they'd come and take yeah. everything out of my house. Yeah. But for you, people decided not they to steal. Let, they, yeah, they, they, it sits there and it just sells and people enjoy it and it's cheap. It's five bucks. It's like if you, if you steal something worth five bucks, you're, you're a real d***. You know? <laughs> so, and uh, I also made it very easy. People don't have to get emails. There's no company that they're, there's no, nothing to join. There's no know? mailing list. They don't sign you up. And unless you want it. You I have to you. really want it. Now, what you've done with your concert tour is yeah. interesting, too, because the tickets can only be purchased on your website. Yeah, we did exactly the same thing. I'm going on tours starting in October all over the country and in theaters, uh, but where you can only buy tickets on my website. So it's the same. They're cheaper, and all those crazy ticket charges, uh, they're just gone. We got rid of those. And maybe even, yeah, maybe even the best thing about it, I think, is is that people can't really scalp the tickets. You don't have to go through ticket brokers because right. you have to be the person. If you buy the tickets, yeah. they check and make sure you're the guy you that goes. you got to actually call me at my house and say, <laughs> I sold it to this dude. And we have, a, we have a clause that's not in the terms and conditions thing that nobody uh -huh. reads. It's right over the buy button. It says, if you sell this for more, than the price, then you uh, will turn it off. We'll turn, we'll kill this ticket. Right. We'll give you your money back, but we'll cancel the ticket. So, and there's some sites where we'll we'll be able to do that. I've got guys doing it. We've got <laughs> like a little thing of these cops that are. It's really fascinating uh, and weird. But it, it won't work 100 percent of the time. But if you buy a ticket from somebody for more than 45 bucks, which is what all our tickets are, uh, it might die before you get to the show. Yeah. It's a risk. I like when that. you get to the venue, they'll just go, "That's no good. This ticket is no good." And you're that's right. out of your money. That's right. See, so. I would not imagine you t being so tech savvy. I really are you in into technology and that I, sort of I, thing? Well, you know, yeah, I, some of it is too much, you know. Like I have a, a I don't have an iPhone. I had an iPhone and it's too it's just so absorbing. You just it's just like having a pencil that can <laughs> you know, it's just too <laughs> I just, I just want to write something down. I don't want a whole panoramic experience. And I think that I think people are a little naive about it, what they're giving away, because like people are so excited to have geotags. That, that they, there's a company that always knows where you are. Like, what are you nuts? Yeah. And and there's a new thing, the cloud. They yeah. want you to go to the cloud. And they are selling it as a great idea. Just, you don't need your stuff. Just give it to us and we'll keep it on the cloud. <laughs> it's fine. You don't have to. And you're like, really? But those are my pictures. And my, they just give, we'll keep it on the cloud. <laughs> you pay a little rent to have it up on the cloud. And the way they're going to talk you into this is that you get to have a smaller device because you don't need to keep the stuff on it. You understand? Right. That's why, okay, like this, somebody gave me this iPhone. This is what an iPhone is right now, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, it's gonna, when they, when they tell you you wanna keep it on the cloud, they're gonna say, this is, this is the iPhone now. The, the next iPhone is, is just gonna be this. That's gonna, it's just gonna be this, and it's just gonna be this thing, because you need this to store all your movies and stuff on, but you're just gonna have this, and you just rub and go, ooh, I wanna see Tom Cruise, and he'll just, Tom Cruise will be all around your face, and then you wanna see, you know, Selma Hayek, and then you take it, and you, and you that's how it's gonna work. That's I'll give you $10,000 gonna... for that thing right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right, so, so that's how it's you're uh, reminding me a little bit of the yeah. Unabomber, but I think that's okay. I think yeah. that's all right. Yeah. We, yeah. Uh, touch I won't that. touch that. It's, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you, have you been enjoying your success? Because you're a guy that every comedian loved for a long time, but yeah. most people didn't know about you, and now a lot of right. people know about you. Yeah. And in my imagination, <laughs> that doesn't work for you. I, I just, I don't know. I, it, it, is it a good thing? 
Uh, be, well, it's weird. I, it's, I'm at odds with it. I don't, like, when uh, I, I'm kind of famous. Mm -hmm. And it makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> because I'm not, I'm just a guy. And so sometimes people come up to me in the street and they say stuff, and that's kind of nice, you know? Uh, sometimes I'm with my kids and they do it. And they just don't give a shit about my kid. They yeah, just right. step between me and my child and say, hey, dude, I want a picture, you know, or whatever. Yeah. Um, people don't care about children. People don't respect children. <laughs> if I'm with my, a lot of times I'll be with my daughter and she'll be crying. A lot of times she's crying. So she'll be crying because <laughs> I'm a bad father. <laughs> but so this happens to me a lot. My daughter's crying and some lady sticks her face in my kid's face and goes, why are you crying? Right. Yeah, first of all, no one cries unless it's intensely personal. Nobody cries for something that you would just tell a stranger. Oh, because my uh, mother doesn't love me. Or what, you know, what are you, why are you? And why ever she's crying, you are definitely not the solution with your big, red, meaty, gonna die Strange soon face. face. Yeah. Yes. So, but you did, uh, you really, you've Sorry. gotten maybe the greatest validation you could get as a comic and an actor, yeah. which is, and not the Emmy nomination was <laughs> I'm not great. Sure what you're talking about. You're probably, but it's being asked to be in a Woody Allen movie. That's right, yeah. Right. yeah. 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 That's as good as it gets. Yeah, that was, a, that was, that was really nice, yeah. And how did that work exactly? Well, I grew up loving Woody Allen. Yeah. I, I, I just, he's the greatest to me, and uh, he's a real, uh, you know, he's just a beacon artistically. You and, can uh, see that love in your show, I think, certainly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah and uh, so he, uh, I found out that he was interested in me being a mo in a movie, but he wanted me to read for it. He wanted me to audition, but he wanted to meet me in audition. So I went to see him in his office, and I mean, I, my heart was pounding. It was really uh, difficult. Yeah. Uh, and I and he was very nice, and he said, "I know, I know you, I, I know you can act, but I just want to see you try this part because it's a really tough guy, like tougher than you in person." So I tried to be this this kind of tough guy, but my heart was beating, like I was really nervous. Well, it's probably good. Well, tough guys don't get nervous. Yeah, but if your heart stops beating, you die. <laughs> That's right. That's right. That's a good point. So, so you got to be grateful. So you, uh, so you obviously you did well. I right? know I tanked it. I didn't, did it. Really? I didn't get the part. And oh. and well, so he said, uh, here's another part, way smaller. And I'm happy with the little oh, part. Oh wow! I'm so happy with the little part because the other one made me nervous. It's a really tough guy. So then I find out that they gave that part to Andrew Dice Clay. Oh, he's That's true. Tough he's guy. true. <laughs> Dice is playing. I, first of all, the fact that I auditioned for a part that Dice got <laughs> is really you two bizarre. Are interchangeable. Oh, yeah. totally. <laughs> but so Dice got the part, and I know him. And oh, you he, do know him. Yeah. Okay. So he called me to to both of us say, "Hey, we're in this movie." and and uh, he told me the story of him meeting Woody. And it's, it was the greatest pleasure for me because he did himself and Woody. <laughs> like, he did his own character, and then he did a beautiful Woody Allen impression. Really? Yeah, so he's like, oh, I'm talking to Woody, and uh, I got these sideburns, you know, big sideburns. And uh, Woody says, would you mind shaving the sideburns? <laughs> is that much of a problem? And, and I'm like, Woody, I'll do anything for you with what I got. And he says, I, my retinas are bothering me. And yeah, my retinas too. Hey, yeah. Louis C.K. is with us. We're going to take a break. We'll be right back. More Louis. Hey, hey, that's my car. Okay. Well, I got to get it out of there. So we're working. But I didn't, you, didn't say you, you didn't say you guys were going to be doing all that. Well, you shouldn't have parked there. What? What the hell are you guys doing anyway? I don't know. I also find it kind of heartbreaking when I see a car get destroyed yeah. on television or in the movies. Yes. <laughs> well, you know, it's funny. Usually there's picture cars, and when you want to destroy a car on TV, they go get you a car that the engine's dead, but the car looks okay. Right, right. So it's usually, it costs about 700 bucks for like a, you know, Ford Taurus, 92 Ford Taurus, you know. 
Um, but I know all these prices. Uh -huh. But, uh, <laughs> but uh, my, the character in the show that I am, it's me, dr uh, drives an Infinity, a black Infinity of the current model era. So when you want something specific, you gotta just get the car. So we just bought an You infinity. bought an infinity. Yeah, that's that laugh was eleven thousand dollars. <laughs> that's, that's that you gotta was. get that shot right. That, yeah, yeah, exactly. We yeah. have one take, too. It's take. funny that you had to have an infinity and yet on your show, like we'll look back and like your neighbors are different people yeah. and, and the cast you just you'll that's change right. a cast member randomly. I've had two different moms on the show. <laughs> I have. <laughs> Three God. different sister characters that have come and gone, and a brother who has only been on one season he's gone he's in the second episode but it's not like i kill the characters it's like they never existed they I just, just stop using suddenly it. are different people in That's the second right. episode your um your ex-wife yeah first time i've had an ex-wife is african-american yes <laughs> which um you're neither of your daughters no, is they're even very they're extremely they're white very very white yeah. children. <laughs> but my wife is played by a black uh woman uh, uh susan <laughs> you just find out later in Blake. Is she Susan. related to Larry? <laughs> 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 she has to gotta feel horrible. She's so good. She anyway, she's really good. And uh, <laughs> so she was good enough to play the person, and I didn't care. And uh -huh. uh, as far as her being black, the only thing, that, like, like uh, she's very different from my ex-wife in real life. My ex-wife and I have a great relationship. I'm, I feel lucky that I'm raising kids with her. I really do. Uh, but, but this woman is uh, harsher in the, on the show, and she uh, puts a lot of pressure on me. Like, she's a professional, and she wants me to kind of step up. So there's, a, like, a scene there later in the season where she's, she's trying to get me to get a real job. And, and when a black woman tells you to get a job, it's just more. <laughs> it's, just, it's just get a job. Like, it just hurts more. It's just, so that's you listen, why. You listen, you exactly. listen closely. So she's just bringing a different palette of, uh, of ideas and, you know, <laughs> language that I, I wouldn't have. You're uh, very flexible when it comes to humans. Yeah, you know, if humans, the character works for the show, not so much I don't with care cars. about the racial, yeah. <laughs> but it's got to be a black infinity. It's got to be a black infinity. Your, uh, black. your concert tour, and yeah. tell me if this is correct, you yeah. guys sold 80 thousand tickets in one day yeah online that's right wow yeah. are there any tickets left yeah there's very few uh, 15 shows sold out we were adding shows in every city and more than half the shows are sold out we've made I think it grossed like four million bucks and it just keeps going so it'll be sold out in like a week but the, you know well, then I gotta do the show and then you gotta do the shows. yeah, yeah. all right yeah. well if you want a last chance at uh, Louis shows you go to louisck.com or louisck.net either one louisck.com or net Doesn't it's matter Louis one. not no e on it but yeah. the show is called Louis with an e that's He's right very confusing man, but funny. Like Third season premiere.